Greetings YouTubers, how's it going out there in YouTube land? Well, today we are going to be uh, doing a little review on some speakers that I bought at Walmart. Yeah, kind of got a mess here. Uh, the door panel's there. Um, the reason I took the door panel off to begin with was because the window was a little weird. It was off track. Now it's working perfectly. It goes up and down just like it should. And uh, I had a weird noise up here when I turned the volume up on the radio. I uh, couldn't figure out what was going on. And it turns out... Well, this was the original speaker. <laughs> As you can see, oh, oh well, it's done. This is a Mitsubishi Infinity System speaker. I have an amp in the back that came with this car new from the factory. You know, I'm just doing some little things here. It'll be a nice little car for somebody, but I've been driving it and it's been a lot of fun. But uh, the speakers have been annoying, so um, pop this out. And this does have this humongous ring that sits in there. And it kind of sits in there like that. So what we're going to do is try to fit another set of speakers in here. Uh, just to buy this particular speaker here from Chrysler. It's like $60. And I can't even find any used ones online. If you do, they're all dry rotted and they get wet. And uh, water runs down in there. And basically destroys them. So I um, went to Walmart. And uh, here they are. These are these... Uh, well, they say they're 200 watts uh, peak, uh, 50 watts, uh, probably what you're going to get normal if you want it to sound good. These are 6.5 inch uh, speakers or 6.75 inch, uh, depending on how you want to look at it. And uh, yeah, I got two of them here, and these were uh, $28, I believe. And uh, so what we're going to do, we're going to put these in. I don't know how the speaker on that side is. I know the tweeter up there, it, it rattles. This tweeter on this side is good. The tweeter looks like it's fairly easy to change out. I'm going to see if I can find one. But if I can get that done, then all my speakers in the car work great. I've actually got a couple of nice ones in the back back there that I put in uh, a couple of weeks ago. Let's just go back here real quick. And I don't know, maybe this will help somebody out. I don't know who, somebody wants to restore a car. But there's a sound system uh, that came with it from the factory. Uh, and there's the uh, new, newer speakers that I put in. And both of these speakers back here were trash. And I put these speakers in by removing this panel back here. You, you lay the seat down. And basically, uh, there's a couple of bolts. Uh, one right there. There we go. That little silver thing right, right here. And there's one right there. Over here. Right there. And that actually holds that cover down once you take those out this whole piece kind of slides forward but you gotta kind of play with the trim but that's how i got those in and when i put these in i actually had to bend just a little bit sorry about this right here i bend this down just a little bit and these sit in here nice and flush these are six by nines but they were a lot better than what was in here before so uh that's what we're up against now so let's go to the front Let's go ahead and we'll open up the speaker here. And uh, I don't expect this to be a perfect fit, but it's going to be better than, better than what I have. And uh, these are S C O S C H E. I'm not even going to try to pronounce that. Who knows what, how you pronounce it? But there's the speaker itself, and uh, pretty nice little speaker, and um, pretty heavy too. So I mean, just for the front of this, this is all I'm going to need. And the whole idea is to set this in here like this. That's where the drain water hole is, the plug here. I mean, the cut there in it for the water, the moisture to leak out. It's going to kind of sit in here like this. And since the wire comes in from the left, it's going to be kind of like this. All right, so as you can see, <laughs> well, it doesn't perfectly fit. You can see the holes are not quite where I want them so what I can do is if I can get the lighting just right here I can probably still tap some little screws in here and get this to anchor down and center it it should be okay but you can see it's even that's loose so um, I cut it close there so I wish I can get this in the light better for you guys but um, no matter what I do here, the lighting's not very good today. Sorry, guys. Try this one more time. There we go. And as you can see, not quite in the holes there. Centered up right about there where it's going to be. Now, if this is just a hair bigger, they would it would have fit right in there, and all four of those would have 
bolted in, but not the case. So that's what we're going to do. We'll go ahead and put this in, and my wire here is pretty simple. I'm just going to clip it and put my own wire on here. Um, there's the back of it. So we'll see how these sound for 30 bucks. Uh, you know, Walmart, I've seen these online for about the same price on eBay, so it uh, depends on how fast you want to get them. All right, so let me go ahead and see if we can set up something here and get this in here and see how this one sounds, and we'll do the other side real quick. See if you uh, like spending $30 on a couple of speakers from Walmart. All right, I was just getting ready to set this in here, but I wanted to also show you, here's what you get, the hardware. You get the screws, you get these little clips. The main thing here is this cover that comes with it, uh, forget about using it, which, you know, I don't expect that to work anyway. It just doesn't fit on there, so we're just going to set it in there like that. The door panel over there does have some kind of uh, protector on it. You're not going to be able to see the speaker anyway, and uh, but that doesn't fit on there. If I was just a little smaller, it would. But this uh, speaker here housing from the factory is just not quite right. So, But some of you, you know, if your vehicles, it might work in there perfectly. So that's that. And also, sorry guys, I did lie. Uh, no wires. Sometimes they give you wires and sometimes not, but I have plenty of wires. But at least they give you the screws and these clips and screws and all that. So that should work out. All right, so let's go ahead and get these in. And boom, just like that. There it is. Found some screws, put those in there. I have a junk box. And on the back, I wrapped some... This is actually a flooring underlayment you put down under the floating floor. I had a big piece of that. This is water resistant. This will keep the water out of the back of it. And I've got some tape around it there. And uh looks really good. So all I got to do is now stick it in. And uh, we'll figure out these wires here in a little bit. Just make sure, you know, you have the hot and negative on the back of the speaker before you dump it in there. But uh, it doesn't look too bad. At least it's not going to get wet now from behind. All right, so there's all the screws. It's in. Don't look too bad. The old joke is the speakers are probably worth more than the car. I don't know about that right now. You can't get a rental car anywhere in the country. It's uh, rental cars are hundred to a thousand dollars just for uh, a whole week, from what I've been understanding. It's not a bad looking car, but you know, hey, it, it is what it is. I'll take it any time. I have to walk. That's for sure. So uh, we'll just go ahead and hook these wires up here. We'll put some kind of connectors here, and we'll fire this thing up and we'll see how this actually sounds and see if it was worth the uh, 30 bucks all right so uh, we got it in and I've been testing it out and turns out you remember that foam I put on the back to keep the water out take that out <laughs> you're gonna have to put well this is not actually foam it's like some kind of water repellent stuff actually you need to probably put foam behind there because this here was actually vibrating which I was afraid it would do and it was causing the speaker to vibrate now since I took that out just left it a straight speaker with nothing behind there it sounds actually pretty good i don't have any music to play here but you can get you can see it's uh no static gear or anything it's lots of bass and i've got this thing maxed out and this has the preamp i'm going to max it all the way and see what kind of bass we get so yeah i think it was worth 30 bucks uh sounds pretty good compared to what was in there before and like I said, I think the right on the the one on the right side over here is okay. Um, I'm gonna pull the panel off and replace it anyway. Might as well. If it's not, you know, it sounds okay. Who knows what it looks like? This one sounded yeah okay, but if I turned it up, it would cut out. But you can see the condition it was in. But yeah, it's not too bad there. Uh, I wish I could get some music on her, but you can see it's moving pretty good. Not that I'm really into that music, but uh, you can see the speaker's working pretty good. I got a little bit of vibration in the door. You're going to get that, but yeah, it's uh, So the only thing I got to tell you is don't, don't put anything behind there. If you can get some foam to put behind there, it may work out. But the speakers, you know, it's, it's moving back and forth and it's pushing air back and forth. So anything behind here is going to make it vibrate. All right, so I'm happy with it. I'm going to go ahead and finish this wiring up here. And we'll stick the other one in and uh, wrap this video up. So, hey, let me know where you're watching from right now. All right, so that side's done. And I got to tell you, it sounds pretty good. So just for giggles, let's see how bad this one is. They got someone's been there before. They got tape on that. And 
Yep, there we go. Good thing I pulled it off, so all I gotta do is pull this panel off, drill some holes, put the other one back in, we're good to go. And someone's worked on this side, who knows what they've done. But yeah, I think when I put the other one in, I've got it in far enough so the water shouldn't hit it too bad. It might get a little wet, but uh, being a new speaker, it'll probably outlast the car. So, all right, so let's get this in. All right, well, it is what it is. So that one's in. Uh, one thing I did notice, I think I said this earlier. See how the back of that's pretty thick? It does cover most of that speaker up, so I think it'll stay fairly dry in there. So I'm not too worried about that. All we gotta do is put it up, put it in, and see how she's gonna sound. All right, so we're gonna finish up here. It's in, and uh, put in just like the other one. It sounds pretty good. It's got a lot of bass, uh, no rattling, no high pitch sound. Of course, I've got my amp. The setting is just about maxed out just to test it really good. So I think we've got a winner here, so I think these speakers are going to be all right. All right, guys, I think uh, these sound pretty good. I think they're well worth the money. Uh, both sides here in the front, uh, no vibration. I can crank this thing all the way up. Obviously, I don't have any music to play for you because I don't want to get a copyright strike. But I'm really happy with them, so I think these speakers are going to be well worth uh, the money for 30 some dollars and uh, if you have an old car you need to stick maybe four of these in i think 60 dollars would probably do you pretty well but uh yeah i like them all right guys so that's it for the uh, video thanks for watching my little itty bitty youtube channel and until my next video guys thanks for watching and i'll see you later